Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be chatting about a very interesting cool animal by the name of Dimetrodon. The Greek translation of Dimetrodon comes under two measures of teeth. And this animal, as a child reading dinosaur books, you might have seen Dimetrodon within the di these dinosaur books. Might have fa found it on the front cover or just generally within the pages. But the, the fact is, Dimetrodon was put into dinosaur books when in fact it was no real dinosaur. Dimetrodon was from the Permian period and this was the period that preceded the dinosaurs. As dinosaurs are from the Triassic period, the Jurassic period and the Cretaceous, the Permian was the period before the Triassic. Dimetrodon was first discovered by Edward Drinker Cope in the 1870s in a region of Texas known as the Rock Beds. Dimetrodon also lived within the Permian period some 290 to 247 million years ago. Dimetro some well, varies on the species, but some species of Dimetrodon could reach a length of up to 5 metres or 16 foot, and some could achieve a total weight of about 350 kilograms. The Permian period saw a wide, diverse variety of life come into existence. He would have some amazing animals come into being, such as Gorgonopsid, Lystrosaurus and Placerius. But in this image I think it is showing some species of Gorgonopsid or Gorgonops and I think that might be a species of Scutosaurus but I could be incorrect in saying that. The Permian saw a fantastic array of diverse wildlife which although many species actually resemble dinosaurs in appearance None were in fact actual dinosaurs. Dinosaurs would not walk the planet till the, after the Great Permian Extinction event. Then dinosaurs would finally come to power during the Triassic period. Dimetrodon was a large, powerful apex predator of the Permian period and carnivorous by nature, meaning that its diet mainly consisted of meat. On the next two following slides you will see two species that of animal that Dimetrodon may have preyed upon. I hope you enjoy. Iops, or the Greek translation being drawn out face, would have certainly been on Dimetrodon's menu if it found it walking amongst the land in a location close by. Senophacanthus, or the Greek translation being foreign spike, would also be on the, the Dimetrodon's menu when it ventured into freshwater territory. The structure of Dimetrodon's bones indicated that it was a cold-blooded and had a relatively low metabolism. There are very few channels within a Dimetrodon's bones which points towards limited circulation, meaning an external heat source was needed. The large sail most likely performed this function as when pointing towards the sun it heated up rapidly allowing Dimetrodon to hunt at times when other animals would still be warming up. Other suggestions and for the adaptatious nature of the sail could be possibly camouflage, sexual display and also generally be used as a sail for when swimming. Well, there you have it ladies and gentlemen, Dimetrodon, which is an animal, one of my favourite non-dinosaur animals. I apologise if this video hasn't been uh, as informative or if my voice sounds a bit strange, it's just I've got a bit of a cold at the moment which hasn't put me in the best of moods. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'll try and include some more prehistoric life which is non-dinosaur related because I do have a quite a few other ideas in my head such as maybe plesiosaurs, moasaurs, pterosaurs and other life which existed during the Permian period. I hope you enjoyed the video ladies and gents if you have watched it up to this point. If you did actually enjoy the video, feel free to comment, like and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day or evening.